Hey there, terrific teachers and techies up there. Today I want to talk a little bit about integrating Equatio with Google Jamboard. So Equatio is an extension that you can have that allows you to create uh, math uh, expressions, integrate different shapes, also used uh, for scientific uh, expressions as well. Now it is free for teachers. You can get the premium version by going to the text help website and that will allow you to request uh, free access and you'll receive an email to, uh, uh, to have access to that. Now, Equatio works directly uh, in some of the Google apps such as Docs and Slides, but doesn't work directly in Jamboard. So you do have to uh, use it within Google Slides and then bring it into a Jamboard. So I'll show you what I mean here. So let's say I want to uh, uh, open up my Equatio, which I can do uh, up top here through the Chrome extension on my Chrome browser. And down below here, I'll have an option to insert math space. So when I click on that, it'll open up a new tab and it will take me to my math space. So on the bottom, you have lots of different tools within Equatio. But I'm gonna go into this one here, which is the shapes. And there are some basic shapes I can bring in here. And there'll be a little option here for more shapes. So within here, you'll find tons of more options such as uh, base 10 blocks, uh, a few different other manipulatives. So I can go to something like this here, coins as well, uh, and Detangram. So when I click on that, I can uh, open this up on my uh, math space here. Now, the thing is, right now I have an option to insert this, and this will go right into my Google Slides, but it'll insert this as one image. So let's say, for example, I want my students to be able to move these pieces independently on a Google Jamboard, and they could use them to create different uh, Tangram shapes. So one thing I'll need to do is first is to separate these so they all become independent pieces. But even by separating them, if I now decide to insert this in my Google slide, it will still just insert this as one large piece just separated. So they still will not be able to independently move them. So one thing you'll have to do is, and it'll take a little bit of setup, is you'll have to delete the ones you don't want and do this one at a time. Now, this is just for the tangrams. You might use a different um, shape in here that maybe you just need to do it once or twice. So depending on how many shapes you need, it may take a few steps. So now that I have that, I can insert this into my Google slide. So as you see, it'll come in here on my Google slide. So this would work uh, well directly in a Google slide, but I wanna use this on a Jamboard because I want my students to be able to take these pieces, flip them around, move them around, create different shapes. So I could go through and create a Google slide deck with each shape on a different slide. So I would encourage you to do that and then save this sort of as a template that you can use within other Jamboards. So I have two created here and, I, and again, I would repeat the steps uh, for every shape in this case for the Tangram. And then now once I have that in, I can just simply do my control C for copy, go over to my Jamboard and hit control V. Again, I could do the same for the other symbol I had brought over, go control copy, bring it here, control V, and I have my other shape. So I can continuously do this and then I could start, uh, once I have all these in here, start building uh, different shapes within Tangrams. So this is how you would get Equatio to work with Jamboard. Lots of possibilities. We'd love to hear from you how you plan to use Equatio with Google Jamboard.